Welcome back everyone to another beautiful morning here on the Erlengrot map in the Alpine Mountains. So we've got work already started there in the distance. You can see our combine is busy harvesting the wheat, or excuse me, the oats. And we've got our grass cutting has just begun. So this is a huge day for us. This is another milestone for us because it is time to sell our horses. Enough time has elapsed that the horses are at maximum value and we'll be looking to sell those. There you see those just off in the distance right toward uh, the edge of the map. But before we get to that, we've got a few other things we need to get started. Uh, and one of these things is I need to tell you guys about a new tractor that we have. Now, of course, you guys, I've talked many times in the past about my absolute favorite tractor, the Case Optum. Over 300 horsepower on that bad boy, and it makes up the backbone of my farming operations, generally on most every map, simply because it's powerful and I really love the look of it. But I've decided to add another tractor here on the farm, and it's also a case, but it is the Puma. Not quite as much horsepower, still well into the 200 horsepower range. Uh, I think I outfitted this one somewhere around 250 to 260. Uh, I can't remember exactly without looking, but it still has plenty of horsepower to get several jobs done. Right now, it is in charge of the wind rower, but I also use it for other tasks, including um, selling manure, and different things that we might need some additional horsepower for. I've told you guys in the past, I absolutely love buying new equipment, new land, expanding, and that's exactly what we're doing. But as we get this work going, we need to give a little bit of attention this morning to our cows. It's about 8.30 in the morning, so by farming standards, this is a little bit late. We should have been working for a few hours now. All right, let's come in here. I'm just going to do this the simple way. We're going to make about 53 grand, and I am more than happy to pay this $3,300 fee on that. So we'll go ahead and sell that. We're up to $395,000, and all of that money has come through simply working the fields, selling off the milk, selling off the cows. We're now very close to that 200 number maximum capacity on the cows. So Every couple of days or so, I come in and I sell off a few cows, get us back down to about 190, and then from there, we're good to go again for a few more days. So we've got streams of income coming in. Right now, we've got the milk from the cows, we've got the cows themselves from the husbandry, and we've also got manure income that we've been getting on a regular basis. Let's see if this guy is ready. Okay, yeah, he's full. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to come over and take care of our vineyard. This is an easy thing for me to forget. We've got to hit some road signs. It's almost just something we have to do at this point. You just have to run over some road signs along the way. I don't know why the city keeps coming back and uh, laying those back down, but uh, yeah, they're not really needed. Uh, also, I noticed that our our trailer is not sitting over next to field four, which means he is probably sitting over at the silo here on the farm. So we'll have to get to him in just a moment as well. Uh, here, this is the next temptation I have on the farm, and that is replacing this tractor. I hate to do it, but you can see he is struggling mightily with this manure. And uh, I have been using the Puma, the Case Puma, a little bit for this. But uh, since the Case Puma is going to be busy here shortly, I'm trying to use this guy as much as possible, but we are fast outgrowing what I would need this guy for. All right, let's go ahead and see where we've got our unload spot. Let's get it over to the left. And let's see, this point, this drop-off point can be a little tricky. Yep, you can see you have to get right on top of that box there. I'm going to try to get as close as I can. There it was. That's one of the things that does tend to aggravate me some. Is when I see things like this. Like we're close enough. I mean it is a game. <laughs> There's no need to make it quite this bad. Uh, in loading and unloading things. So let's just have a little bit of patience there. So we finally got it despite my grumblings. 
So this time I'm going to try to get right up next to this thing. Let's also see, where are we at on water? Uh, oh, I've run completely out on this one. Okay, yeah, I guess that uh, definitely does show that sometimes I do tend to get busy on the farm, especially as we continue to grow. There's so much going on that I do tend to forget about our vineyard over here from time to time. All right, so just for a second, I'm going to drop this guy right here. I am going to take care of our water, which I recently refilled the tank on that. Uh, and I'm keeping this little guy around as long as I possibly can. Right now, his job is the water. That's all he does. He sits over here and waits for the water. And to this point, haven't really had to worry about a whole lot with him. Uh, his charge is still good. I got a few items here on the farm, a little bit of equipment that needs some repair work. Uh, even though we're leasing it, it doesn't mean that it doesn't lose its effectiveness over time. So we're going to need to repair a few things. And that's going to mean a trip down to the store because right now I do not have a maintenance shed here on the farm. So we'll take them down to the store at some point, get that repair work done. All right, we are done with these guys for a little while. All right, now let's head over to the farm silo. Uh, I'm going to do that through the map. All right, so where are we here? This guy is probably sitting right here. Yep, there he is. So he is sitting right here waiting for me to tell him to continue on. The good news is, because the oats uh, have such a low volume uh, compared to something like wheat or barley, that you don't really have to worry about this a whole lot. This guy's not needed. I believe he's needed two times to fill up uh, from the combine and then one other time just at the very end. But other than that, he's not needed a whole lot. All right, so these guys are, for the most part, done. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hop back in this one because we need to get him up and running and selling some of this manure. So we'll hop over here, refill the manure real quick. Uh, it's also been a few days since I have sold off the manure. So you can see that here on the right. It's starting to pile up a little bit, but no mind. We're not losing anything there. We'll just sell more. Here, let's see if I can get in here without taking the normal route to get in there. Yeah, there we go. So we don't need to add a whole lot for him. So let's bring up our auto drive. And we're going to have him go to the BGA. There we go. He has, for some reason... Alright, let's get this guy up and running again. Yeah, there we go. Every once in a while, these guys shut off on me, particularly if I haven't used them for a little while. So let's get this guy filled up and we'll have him on his way. Now the BGA is in the future going to turn out to be a sort of a sticking point for us because it's not going to have the capacity that we need. Now if you look at the BGA with you know, it should have plenty of capacity, but the way it works in the game, uh, at least without any modifications made to it in the files, uh, it really doesn't give us what we need simply because I'm going to need to run a lot more volume through there. Let's let this guy come on by before we get back to our business. That's got to be an awesome job. Out in the clean air, first thing in the morning, 8.30 in the morning, and you're just driving through town on your way to sell some manure behind you. Uh, if you can ignore the smell, you'll be fine. But I'm guessing if you work on the farm for any length of time, that's probably not going to be an issue. You just kind of get used to it after a while. Alright, so let's get this guy. I actually could have started him a little bit earlier. But having a separate tractor to run the windrower means that I can also start our uh, loading wagon a lot quicker. And so basically it means that things on the farm get done a lot quicker now with more equipment up and running. All right, let's get this guy about right here. Tell him to drive his course. And that'll have him up and running. 
So yeah, quite a bit of stuff to do every day on the farm. But we're making that money. 395000 right now is a very nice amount. And of course, we're about to add quite a bit to that. All right, so now that he is up and running, there I see our trailer has made it back over. Uh, let's see where our combine is right now. Where is he on his field? Okay, he's at 80%. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. We'll go ahead and hop out of the combine, let him get back to work. And we are going to head over and take a look at these horses. So for those of you who are wondering, yes, I have been using the Horse Helper mod. Otherwise, I would simply go nuts. Uh, there's just not enough time in my day to do everything that needs to be done on this farm. So yes, I've been using the Horse Helper mod uh, for the horses. But let's take a quick look as we see these beautiful horses. Absolutely amazing uh, modeling done in this game for the horses. Love it. The animations look nice and crisp as well a huge fan of the horses. So if we come in and take a look, all right, of course we know our cows, they're doing great. We're gonna uh, take care of some more straw today with our oat harvest. And then also the hay getting low, but of course we're about to refill that, that's non-issue. But if we take a look here, we are at 100% on these guys and they're worth 50 grand. Now remember, we're playing on easy. So we paid 5,000 for them, now they're worth 50 so a 10x improvement in their value and of course multiply that by 16 and you get an idea of how much money we're about to have. The other reason I brought this up is to show you what the, the food and water situation looks like. I have not touched these except for the water. I did add a little bit of water. I think it was on day two or three of having the horses. So it's been a while. But other than that, I basically haven't touched the horses at all. And food they've eaten very little oats very little at all the hay has been what they've used the most and of course we have no issues with hay we've got plenty of hay to go around so overall i am very happy with our investment in the horses but the time has come we need to say goodbye to these guys these very beautiful animals we need to say goodbye because it is time to cash in so take a look at the bottom of the screen as I start moving these guys out and we'll see exactly what this final total ends up being. So I'm just going to continually click until we get all of these guys sold off. So remember, just shy of 400,000 in the bank for us before this transaction. Now, after subtracting $4,800 for uh, the fee for transport, which is a complete non-issue for me, we're going to come home $795,000. Now, we're going to have to spend some of that because we need to restock our horses and buy some more, but $795,000. Very nice indeed. Even if you start to uh, divide that by the number of days it takes to reach maximum value, it's still, still very nice income. And they're very little trouble at all. You don't even have to clean the stalls after them like we have to do with uh, the other animals. So they are very easy to keep. We'll go ahead and confirm that. And now you see suddenly we have 1.1 million, almost 1.2 million. So now, of course, last time we got all Pintos. Uh, let's see, not a huge fan of the gray horses, uh, but pretty much any of these others are beautiful. I mean, the chestnut horses are immaculate. Let's go ahead and get a few of them. I'm going to go ahead and get five. Now, the game is probably not going to render all 16. I think it has a maximum of around 10 that it renders. I'm going to get five of those. We're going to get five of the bays. And the black horses look amazing. Uh, the seal brown are awesome. Like I said, there's really none of these horses that I don't like. So we'll go ahead and finish up. We'll get six of the seal brown. And that'll finish up our 16. It'll also give us an opportunity to see uh, just how many of these the game tries to render. So our total, after adding in $4,800 fee, $84,800. So, okay, after we confirm that, what do we have? All right, so we've got a little over 1.1 million. 
in the bank. So I'm going to call that a huge victory. Now let's take a look at some of these guys. Okay, well, I do see a little bit of difference there. So maybe it is trying to render as many as it can. I'll let you guys try to count these. And in the meantime, we're going to get the water taken care of. And then I'll take care of the hay and the straw as we get further along in this. But right now, uh, let's actually bring up the map again. Let's see. Okay, our wind rower is there. The, our main mower is here. Uh, we need to stop him, get him out of the way. I believe the wind rower is coming right behind him. So yes, I could have started these much closer together, but uh, we got stuff to do. So it didn't quite work out that way. All right, we're going to try to meet this guy along the way. Look at him. He's going to he's going to swerve to miss us now. He's going to try to stay away. He doesn't want me to take over. Boom, there you go. All right, go ahead and stop him. Get him out of the way. And that will make room for our final piece of equipment that needs to come across, and that is the loading wagon. Okay, I also noticed a message popping up. Ooh, that's too far. Let's back up a little bit. In fact, that may be too far over to the left, uh, given the route that I have the guy take. Uh, let's see. start the course. I've been still been having a, a little bit of an issue with this guy. When he goes over to drop off a full load of hay, he wants to stop there, uh, and he doesn't want to continue on. And it has to do with this value the stop at last point or next trigger of course the next trigger would be where he unloads the hay uh it's deactivated right now but for some reason every time i do drive course it goes back to activate it so and usually this means he's going to stop whenever he gets over there but a small issue that keeps me from uh, being completely automated for this guy. So overall, not a huge problem. It's just one of those aggravations that happens. All right, so now we need to, I believe we got our message that this guy is ready to go. Yeah, here he is. Let's go ahead and enter the vehicle here. Sell off this manure. So for those of you who may be unaware of how the BGA works, number one, you must own the BGA in Farming Sim 19. In, in years past, you didn't have to, but in 19, you do. So what's happening as we're unloading the manure it is filling up the BGA. It has a maximum of 50,000 here. This one was only at about 20,800, which is perfectly fine. And you can see it is going down, I believe it's 10 per second. All of that seems fine until you start running a lot more volume through this thing, which is exactly something that we will be doing, particularly in the future. So what, what it means is that we're going to get to 50,000 pretty quick. And then once we're at 50,000, it won't accept anymore. So we just have to sit and wait, fast forward time, however you want to take care of that. But you're going to have to do something about it. Now, one option is to simply mod the BGA to uh, increase the speed at which it uh, processes. Or you can increase from the 50,000, you can increase that number. You can do some things with the BGA, but I'd prefer not to get into that. I really don't want to do that. So what we're going to have to do is mod, get a modded selling point that will enable us to uh, handle this additional volume. All right, let's see what this guy's up to. He doesn't look like he's moving. He is not. Where is our trailer? Is he, where is he at? Is he over? Is he over here? He is over here. I'm not sure why he came back over here. But sure enough, there he is. So again, little quirks here and there that we deal with on the farm. But it is part of the life of a farming sim farmer. All right, in the meanwhile, this guy, let's see what he's got. Okay, so now let's see what he does. Perfect timing here. This guy's going to go over to... So now he's full. He's going to head over and empty out this hay. And I want to see if he continues on his way. Oops. Uh, actually, I need to get here. 
first. Which is a little odd since I'm outrunning the tractor right now. But I need to get some things taken care of that I simply forgot about. Alright, so this guy, the good news is the tractor is simply going to sit there and wait. Uh, because right now we are in his way. We'll get this clean and then I'm simply going to back this guy out of the way. And we'll let him be on his merry way. He can get back to collecting that hay. Alright, there we go. So we're going to get all the way and we're going to see if he continues on or if I'm going to have to reset him manually. Okay, there you see the hay coming out the back. Filling up the cows with some much needed hay. And Nope, he's just going to sit there. Great. That's exactly what I thought he was going to do. All right, so unfortunately, drive now does me no good. So I'm going to have to set this guy up manually now. I could just simply have him start, and he would start from the very beginning and, and all of that. That would be one option. But to save a little time, I believe he needs to be right up here somewhere. From past experience, I believe that's where he's at. And sure enough, there we go. So we're going to start at the next closest. All right, there we go. Uh, let's see. Stop at next point. Once again, I do not want that act activated. There's got to be something I'm doing on that. And at some point in the future, maybe I will actually figure out what it is I'm doing wrong to cause that little hiccup every time. Because in the past, I've used course play forever, it seems, and have never really had that issue that I couldn't solve. But for right now, we do indeed have that issue. All right, I see in the distance. Field three looks like we've just gotten done unloading. So all is well there. Okay, I like it. This is exactly what we need. So now, the last piece of the puzzle, uh, other than our guy over here, which we're gonna get back to in just a moment, he's headed back or is he back over here now? He might be back on the farm. Yeah, there he is. He's back on the farm. So we'll go ahead and hop in. Let's uncover him so that he can refill. But the last piece of the puzzle is to take care of the needs of the new horses. So the cows are going to be just fine. We're going to take care of their straw and their hay. But I'm going to take that very last load of hay that we get today off of field four and I'm going to put it over here for the horses, and that should be more than enough for them. You can see our oats were perfectly fine for quite a while. In fact, I haven't sold any oats for, uh, well, the last, I don't know, three harvests maybe? Yeah, we've got 92,000 of the oats sitting in our silo. So we've got some money we could make by selling that off. For our purposes, though, we don't really need that money so I'm simply going to keep it in there and we'll use it over time as it's needed because we have several income streams coming right now and of course we may get some additional ones in the future but now let's talk a little bit about where we go in the future I mean we've already got a lot of work going on here on the farm and you can probably see why I need auto drive and course play and I need to rely on them quite a bit because we've just simply got a lot going on. And if you're one person trying to do all this, as long as you don't have any sort of time limits, then it's not a problem. And in fact, it's quite a bit of fun. But if you're on a bit of a time schedule as I am, then you really need their help a lot. Let's see how close this guy is to being full. All right, about 80% there. So we'll have him on his way as soon as we can. We'll have him head back over to the BGA. But my next plans are going to be to get into the silage business. So right now we've been dealing with uh, simply grass and hay. And we haven't gotten into silage yet simply because there's really no point in doing it for the cows uh, overall. And that's simply because the efficiency that you get from hay is the same as you would get from silage. And hay is very easy to get uh, with the system we've got going now. So there was no reason to ever really get uh, any deeper into this. 
All right, let's move out of this guy's way. So we're still at 1.1 million. So what I've been thinking about is we're going to get into the silage business. The question is where? Well, field number two, I definitely want to get field number two uh, simply because, I mean, it's just going to fill out this entire area for us to own that. However, it's going to be hard to do anything with field two other than grass simply because of crop destruction. I want to leave that on simply because I enjoy it. So I want to leave that on, which means that we're going to have to plant grass on field two because it doesn't suffer from crop destruction. I've looked at field five, six, and seven. I don't like them simply because there's not a lot of room in, in which to turn around um, for the equipment. So we're really hindered on these because of space. So that brings me to some of these others that we have room for. Also, I haven't forgotten that there's a lot of area around here that we could use. I mean, for $268,000, we're going to get a ton of land there. The problem is not all of it is usable, and it's got some quirks to it uh, from the course play side of things. So I'm looking at some of these others like 23 to 25. I like this idea, and of course, you can see 23 comes with a lot of extra area. I like a lot of these uh, around the center of the map simply because they have some room to work with. But what I imagine we're going to have to do is I'm going to have to simply uh, make these fields a little bit smaller to give our workers the room they need and we're going to get in the silage business. The way we're going to do that is by using, oh wait, somebody is in traffic. Uh, let's see who that is and where that is. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and let this guy be on his way. And yep, that definitely happens from time to time. Uh, in fact, that might have happened at the perfect time because you notice this guy just dropped off and he did not stop this time, which is awesome. But it is a perfect opportunity. We're going to actually just control this guy. We're going to pick up this last bit of, of hay and we're going to take it right over to... There we go. We're going to take it right over to the uh, horses. So let's go ahead and put this down. And let's get him lined up. And boom, there we go. And once again, you can see this thing activated. It drives me nuts that that continues to happen that way. But again, that's probably something I've done to cause that. That's what I figure anyway. And at some point, maybe I'll figure it out. All right, there we go. We'll let him get a little bit farther along but we have a mod that we're going to take a look at here in just a second i believe it is under the silos let's come in here and take a quick look yeah there it is the fermenting silo now it costs one hundred eighteen thousand. but what this is going to do is it's going to take actually several items and that you can put in here but for us grass and hay we're going to put it in there turn that into silage which we are then going to sell. So that is going to be a huge amount of income for us, which is also very simple. And that's what I need. Uh, something that is not terribly complicated because I have learned my lessons in the past. When I try to grow too much and start to uh, use course play and auto drive too much, it causes issues with the game and chaos ensues. So I'm trying to cut back on that as much as possible. And of course, at the same time, there's only so much I'm going to be able to do personally. So it makes the most sense to just try to use a silage operation where these guys can simply mow the grass. We can collect it either as grass or hay and then take it off to be converted uh, into silage, which we will then take to a custom sell point that we will have. So it sounds like a lot going on. It's really not that big of a deal. And it should save us some equipment in the future. Or at least that's the plan. Because again, based on how I play uh, Farming Simulator, there are some limitations that I simply just have to deal with uh, based on uh, the way I enjoy the game. Alright, so we have the hay. I'm going to try to remember 
to take it to the right spot. We're not going to go to the right over here. We're going to go right there. And let's get up a little closer. There we go. So this is probably not even going to take all of this. Let's see how much it does take. Nope, it actually did take all of that. So let's come in and take a look at the horses. And let's see what that does. Oh yeah, yeah, we're we're looking good here. I will finish this off over the next few harvests and we'll get some in there. Of course, straw is ready to go on field number three. I'll take care of that off camera. But today, once again, lots and lots of activity here on the farm. Uh, our combine still has a little bit more work to do before he's done. But the next task for this guy is I'm going to try my best to stay off of field two as much as possible anyway. Sometimes I forget. Let's face it, a lot of times I forget. So our combine should be finishing up his second full load uh, that he's going to give. And then he'll have uh, just a small amount left by the end. So now we're going to get this guy up and running and we're simply going to collect some straw. We're not going to collect all of the straw on the field because that is a bit more time consuming than I actually have time for right now. So we're going to collect enough to take care of the horses and the cows and then we're just going to let the rest of it go without being sold. But that is going to do it for today. So we started our video today with a few hundred thousand dollars, a very nice haul, and now we're at 1.1 million dollars. And again, that just goes to show you how powerful horses can be to your bottom line. So we can use this money now to expand, we can use it to pay off debt, we can use it for any number of things, but the main thing is we're making money and we are doing great, except for my driving. My driving, not so much. i got some work to do there, but things are going well, and that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. And stay tuned as we will continue working here in the Alpine Mountains.